Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to try to get the Beaver State Achievement, visiting all 14 cities in the state of Oregon. Now we've got some tandem trailers here from Walmart loaded with, I think it's pallets. It's not going to pay that much, but it's the only job that I could find that would take us from where we are in Coos Bay, Oregon, up to Astoria, Oregon, which is the last city we need in order to get the Beaver State Achievement. So we're going to pull out of here carefully. Now this actually pulling out of here is going to be a little bit tricky because we have to go all the way around the parking lot. I don't think with this load we'll be able to make it um, outside by going to the left here. So we're going to kind of go all the way around here and hopefully we can make this without damaging the truck or getting hooked up. Ah, we just missed that post. So first of all, let's see if we can make it out of this parking lot. Now I have been uh oh, well, there's an issue with the wheel now. It's not centered. That's interesting. If I center the wheel, it pulls to the left. Okay, I'm going to try to sort this out. That's a something's going on with the wheel now. And by the way, if you didn't see the last episode, I have a brand new wheel. Oh, are you kidding me? No, we can't get out this way. Uh oh, rut row. Okay, let's not panic. But first, I'm going to back up then. What are we going to, what's our strategy here now? We have to back this straight up and then do a U-turn here with this tandem trailer. Ah, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? This is fine. Let's see if we can just look out this way. So I just wanna back it straight up, right? Which I've never been able to do. That's not straight. That's straight. We don't have to go that far though. Now it's going crooked. Now we're losing it. Now we're totally losing this. And it's just, this is not what we want to see. Okay, okay, okay. Don't panic. It's okay. Oh, I can't make a U-turn here. Okay. Well, this is starting off swimmingly here. Okay, I know what I got to do. I can do this. I can make a sharp right turn, right? Very sharp right turn. And hopefully we can get out of here. But that's not going to do it, is it? Okay, hopefully... I can go backwards now, right? Just enough to get the front of this truck around without screwing this all up. That's the plan anyway. We can't go much farther than that. Now, can we loop around? Going to the right here. We got this maybe? Just gotta clear that trailer. I think we did. Excellent. Okay, now take it as wide as we possibly can, right? This way, loop around. Maybe we got it. All right, so, okay, <laughs> wonderful start. Now I gotta figure out why the trailer's pulling left, why the cab is pulling left when I'm holding the wheel centered, right? So if I let the wheel go, is it fine now? Center my view. No, the wheel's pulling left. Okay, I'm going to sort this out for a second. All right, got that sorted out. All I did was restart the wheel, and that sorted it out. So, problem solved. Now, let's see if we can get out of the rest of the parking lot, because I think we need to go right here. No, left. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to make a U-turn up there. Okay. Still working on some of the controls with this controller, because when I turn the wheel, my recentering is in front of me. I can definitely make it out of here, right? If we go wide turn, we've got it. Come out this way. We're trying to go right. Whoops. And I think I got the brakes figured out now. Good. Nothing's coming. It's coming that way. Let's go. Here we go. Now we're in business. All righty. Perfect. So we've got a five-hour trip to Astoria. We are out of the Walmart parking lot, which took us about an hour. So a six-hour journey all together here. We are underway. It's Thursday morning, about five o'clock game time. So we should have a nice leisurely drive up the coast of Washington, get some good sights along the way, go past Thor's well again. Now let's see how the braking feels. All right. Yeah, this feels good. Yes, this is good. So here's what I did. I set the sensitivity in the Logitech G-Hub settings to 100, which is the maximum. And then I reduced the dead zone in the controls in the game to zero. 
and that's made it exactly the way I like it. This feels pretty good now. That brake felt good. So kind of getting used to this new wheel. I like it. It's just a matter of kind of spending some time getting the settings all tweaked up and stuff like that. But so far, so good. So we'll get um, we'll get going on the road here and we'll see you in a little bit. A little over four hours left and we've got beautiful scenery here. Just heading right into the sun. We've got pine trees, rivers and stuff. Oregon looks like a beautiful state, the Beaver State. Lots of stuff for them to eat for sure. So I was thinking a little bit about kind of goals for American Truck Simulator. And I think there's two, maybe three goals that I'd like to work on going forward. Um, the first is I want to keep working on some achievements. And I know there's one achievement that I've been wanting to do because I've been wanting to explore the state of Washington, which I think would be a cool state to drive in. And they have an achievement that's like make a delivery of every one of the different logging types of equipment to different logging stations in the state. I was thinking that might be fun to work on. I think right now we've only got one. So I'm curious if anyone else has done that achievement and if they've enjoyed it, they found it hard or stuff like that. If you have some other achievements that you might suggest, that would be fun too. But gosh, yeah, this is a beautiful drive here. Just really fun to drive through this one. So when we were here on the way down, this is the road we drove in the last episode coming down, testing out the wheel, except it was in the rain and then it was at nighttime too. Yeah, these brakes, by the way, not to talk about too many things at once, these brakes feel so much better now. I've also decided, I've also discovered that if I press down higher up on the brake pedal, I get a little better leverage with my foot and then I don't have to press so hard too. So I think between reducing the dead zone, setting up the sensitivity to 100 and then pressing with the top of the foot, on the top of the pedal with my foot, it's um, it's a much easier press and it feels actually pretty good. I kind of like it now. I, I, I know they put that pad in there for a reason and some people don't like it on this 920 wheel, but uh, I, I'm feeling like it's, it's feeling pretty good right now. It's got to test some of the kind of finalize some of the tweaks, the settings on the steering and I think on the, the views and get used to a few things and then I'll be all set. But yeah, look at this gorgeous scenery, huh? But anyway, uh, to go back to some of the goals and things like that, I would like to work on that Washington State achievement, goal number one. Second thing is I'd like to upgrade this truck. I think we still have some engine upgrades and like make it look spiffy, give it a paint job and stuff like that. Maybe even do an episode on customizing the truck, get some like Zilla Blitz trucking decals on it. That'd be kind of cool, huh? And then lastly, I want to get a new garage, perhaps somewhere like in the center, maybe like Las Vegas or something like that, a big state and start getting some more drivers Whoa, so we can make more money. So those are kind of the rough goals and stuff like that. But this is gorgeous. Look at this along the coast and everything. This is beautiful. What a wonderful drive when you can actually see it instead of being at nighttime and in the rain. <laughs> so uh, we'll keep uh, moving along. Oh, that was the viewpoint that I think we saw. That must be Thor's. Yeah, Thor's well. That was pretty cool. So we'll, uh, we'll keep moving along. We'll touch base in a little bit as we get uh, farther up the highway. Well... <laughs> so much for our gorgeous day. We've got uh, literally five minutes after I said that, not even that, maybe even five minutes in game time. It's gone from a gorgeous Thursday morning to a dark and somber and rainy Thursday morning. So we'll keep making time. We enjoyed the scenery while it lasted, but that's why it's uh, Oregon and Washington, some of our rainiest states here. So about halfway done with the drive now, still raining since we had that optimistic early start to the day, but not a lot of traffic out here on Thursday morning. We're making our way just past Newport, still up the coast, kind of an urban environment now, but looking forward to getting this Beaver State achievement. I don't think, I don't know if, I don't know how many other state achievement states we've got, but not too many. I've got a lot of states with like eight out of 10 or 12 out of 14 or, for whatever reason, I seem to get all but like the last three or four in a state. And then sometimes it's the updates, right? And then we get carried away someplace else or I get an event happens or I decide to do something else or I get distracted or something like that. Or a DLC comes up and I forget or you know how it is, I'm sure. But it'd be fun to get all the state achievements for sure. And I do think we should go down and check out at some point, check out some of the California rework. I've heard that's pretty cool, according to Park Era. So it'd be fun to go down and see it. And I imagine shortly I bet we get a summer event June here. That'd be kind of fun. So looking forward to a lot of things here. Be curious to hear what, um, for people that are playing the game, what kind of things are you working on? What kind of things are you enjoying right now? Working on any achievements or just kind of traveling a certain part of the country and enjoying it? Yeah, the break is still a touch hard, but it's okay, I think. I think it's going to work out fine. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below. What are you working on? What kind of truck are you driving? What kind of truck should we get next? 
where should we put our next base? Input, always welcome. So we kind of make our way through. And I am liking these uh, real name mods that I've got. I switched to the one that I first talked about. I've got a different one installed now, one that I found in Steam. I think that also was recommended by Park Harris one. And there's a bunch also. So I, I, I'm liking this one a lot. It just adds that, uh, that little touch of realism to have all the different real company names around, which is kind of fun. The other thing I've discovered how to do for a future event, which I want to do, I figured out how to swap out billboards in the game. Now there isn't, I don't, there isn't that many around, but it'd be fun to have custom billboards in the game. So I have a few ideas for some custom billboards to put into the game. I think that'd be kind of cool. So that might be something to work on over the summer here. I don't think it'll take that long, mind you, but it'd be kind of cool. Wow, this is a pretty drive though. I'm liking this. And I am very excited about wrapping up the Beaver State. I've said that three times now, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Don't have many, too many of these some states complete so far in the game. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll move on a little bit more here. It's uh, kind of slow going because we got a lot of city driving. So we got the lights. And then I think this area probably has that three to one time ratio rather than the 19 to one highway ratio. And I always found when you get into the cities like this, it gets a little bit slow. So... We'll uh, chug along and enjoy the scenery and say hi to the people in the cars. And see you in a little bit. This is a fun drive. We've got winding roads in the rain, lots of woods and water. Uh, I'm liking this road. I think that makes me kind of uh, happy to kind of think about going up to Washington and doing those logging deliveries. I think that'd be kind of fun to do those and get that achievement. That's probably a pretty hard achievement to get because you've got, I think, I want to say it's nine different deliveries. And I think we've only gotten one of them. And some of them involve some of that kind of off-road wheeling as you take the delivery up into the different logging camps and things like that. But this is a fun drive here. I mean, single lane highway the whole way. We've got woods on both sides. We've got the mist and the rain. And again, you know, I talk about this a lot, but the game really, I think, excels, especially since the 1.40 update, at just capturing the feel of what it's like to drive in these different environments. And uh, this just feels like a wet daytime drive along the coast. You can almost like feel the humidity out here heavy rain and just damp everywhere. It just feels pretty cool. And I love in these little forest scenes here. These are really special too. These are nice. Game does a really good job because this is a, you know, if you think about this compared to what it's like to drive in, you know, New Mexico, Arizona, down in those drier states and stuff like that, they really have, um, I'm not quite sure how they do it, but you know, they capture good games. I think are kind of emotional experiences and not that this is heartbreaking or you know it, you know overwhelmingly emotional but it definitely captures that the emotion and feel of being there you, know, you could create a visual representation but this takes it i think that extra level that really kind of takes you right to that place and if you've driven a lot especially in, in some of these places in the united states or in similar settings you know that sense of being there of like yeah this is what it feels like um, they really did a good job with that so i know i've said it a few times and things like that but it's uh, it's really fun when you get into drives like this, it just feels pretty cool. And you get, especially with, the, I think, the sense of weight that you have with the truck on you and stuff like that is another thing that game manages to capture pretty well. You know, you hit the gas and you can feel the truck rumble and stuff like that. So uh, just really fun. So I'm really enjoying this ride. This is good. Very, very good. And another good thing to mention, we've got about an hour left here in the drive too. Another good thing to mention is that, you know, I'm, and I mentioned this on the channel update, Ooh, big tunnel here. I mentioned this on the channel update, but um, I think I had eight episodes in total on the channel. Oops, going really slow here too. Over the course from the beginning of April to the uh, the middle of April to the middle of May, and the basic the, 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 this period of time for my real work is the busiest time for me. I mean, just so busy at work. And now we're past that, so you may have noticed I've had kind of an episode come out pretty much every day for the past ten days now, and I'm looking forward to a nice good stretch, you know, knock on wood, of uh, being able to create videos and bring them up on the channel and get some more of these. Whoa, we got some lightning going now. That's cool. Um, bring them out on the channel and get them going here too. So I think this would be fun. I want to get some more trucking videos in too. It's been like once every week, once every 10 days. And I'd like them really to be more frequently than that. I feel like whoop, another bus broken down. I feel like I can do more of these. I want to do more of these. So something to look forward to for the summer. I think the next step will be working on that a logging achievement getting a new garage and upgrading this truck so we can get some more AI drivers. Because I think our AI drivers trucks now are pretty good. Now, you know, they haven't made any money on this drive, but this is kind of a short drive. I mean, it's gonna be four hours with no sleep and stuff like that too. Do we need sleep? No, we're good, okay. 
So we'll uh, we'll keep going here. Got about 40 minutes left and just really enjoying the scenery here. Look at this, cut through the rocks and everything. This is pretty special. This is a nice ride. This one might be one of my uh, favorite little sections that I've experienced so far on American Truck Simulator. This is just a fun part. I do want to go back, kind of rambling here, but that's, that's kind of what these are about, right? It's just like wherever your brain goes, just talk about it and stuff. Because I do want to go back and drive that mountainous road in Colorado Remember the one that I, almost, that I fell asleep on in the truck and almost crashed and died? <laughs> that one. Because that's supposed to be really beautiful, but I've driven that whole stretch at night, which is not how you see the scenery. So that'd be another thing to do perhaps this summer. Go back to Colorado. Still got a couple cities to pick up in that one to get the Colorado State Achievement too. So, And maybe we'll get word on our new DLC for US. I kept thinking it's going to be Texas, but maybe it's going to be Montana. Who knows? Well, I've managed to, to chatter away here for the last past hour in game time. I've got about 20 minutes left. We'll uh, check in as we get closer here to completing, if all goes well, the Beaver State. It's been a perfect delivery so far. No fines, no damage, and we should be on time because it's an external trucks contract here. A, st a story you discovered. Achievement unlocked. The Beaver State. Yes. Excellent. Congratulations to us. We'll see you in a little bit as we get close to our final destination. Whoa, we're going across some big bay or something like that here, huh? And the bridge up. Maybe it is. Oh, yeah. Bridge was up. Perhaps to let that boat go through. That's pretty cool. The other thing I noticed, as we were talking, one of our drivers, or two of our drivers, just made $20,000. We've got $74,000 now. So, our drivers, we give them better trucks. They did. They're doing well. All that time, we were making fun of Janet Kay and stuff like that. Achievement unlocked, uplifting. What was that? We went over some, that must have been going over the bridge for some kind of achievement. I didn't even know that was achievement. Double achievement drive. Dad, double achievement drive. Very, very cool. Looks like we're closer. And five minutes to go here. Nice big rotary. Let's see if we can get around this safely. Good, that truck's going the other way. That's always nice. We got no traffic pulling in. Get over here. We're kind of taking up both lanes. I feel like it's okay if we do that. Now, up here, we have to go left and then in. And I'm not, this is a articulated trailer here with the discovered a new viewpoint. I'll have to get that after. I'm not going to go try to get it now with the tandem trailer, go past our destination. Oops, right here. Ah. Okay, that was a little bit of snow runner reaction there. We got this. Nice. No worries. Okay. <laughs> Don't panic. We have this under total control. As always. Here is our destination. We have to make it into this corner here. Let's see if we can do that. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Go nice and wide so we don't clip the inside of the fence. Alright, let's see how we look here. Oops. Completely missed it, haven't I? But I think it's going to be fine. I think we can get there. Turn around. All right. Hopefully this is... I can do anything? 270? No, I'm not going to mess with it. Where should I place it? Right there, yeah. Sometime I will, but I want to kind of get one of those off camera and just practice it forever because they just are tricky here. Looks like we're around the corner with the tail end. Huh, really? I feel like that's being pretty picky here. All righty. I'm going to mess around with this. We'll see you in a second. All righty. So, yeah. Kind of messed this up. We're going to take the auto parking. Fail on the parking. But those articulated things, they... Someday... Anyway, how'd we do? We got uh, a not to the money wasn't the goal on this one, right? The achievement was the goal. We got the Beaver State goal and we picked up that uplifting achievement too. So double achievement on this one. That's good. 385 experience taking us closer to level 22. If you've enjoyed this episode and haven't checked out the convoy episode I did recently with Parkira on Euro Truck Simulator 2, you might see a little bit of an accident there. You might want to check that one out. I'll put a link to it here. Should be back shortly and I think we'll get to work on Washington State. Uh, let me know if you have other ideas for achievements. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.